Hello and welcome back to Dragon Quest Wall Tutorials, I am KoyTGZ and in this video we are yet again doing a battle against Padu Kanaja, so right here. So with this particular battle, I'm going to be using a Jibadia based team. So here you're going to see uh, one thing that I did change is that I actually now have the uh, helmet or the um, helmet of uh, Kisa, uh, Kisanagi. So that's going to give me some better um, Jibadia damage with my Battle Master. So uh, besides that, everything else is going to be uh, the same as my previous uh, uh, uses of this particular team. So my Armamentalist is going to have on this sealed um, uh, Sage Book. Uh, my Battle Master will have on the Sword of Kusanagi, and then also my Ranger is going to have on the uh, Blade of Destruction. So that's all going to give me uh, Jibaria damage. I was thinking of doing something a bit different with my ranger in terms of having on the uh champion's axe possibly getting him uh some uh chance to actually go first so actually i might try that just to be a bit different so uh here i'm going to put on the champion's axe and what i'm hoping for here is actually um him using champion's lead to actually go before body kananja and then possibly shine binding him or uh, getting him, uh, putting him asleep so he can't actually do anything in the beginning. But uh, yeah, hopefully that does work. Um, here, let's see. So here, uh, I'm going to actually be changing this to level 30. And I'm going to have on a ranger as my. Uh, support character that's going to be equipped with the Dimension Dragon Battle Fan. So I have, wasn't able to find a uh, character with any Jibari based weapons. So this is going to be the next best thing that I think is going to work out well. So with that said, here we go. Okay, so here we go with this battle. Okay, body connect goes. Boss troll. Here we go with the support character. Some very good damage. And got a shadow bind on the boss troll. So what I'm going to do here is going to use a sleep strike. Hopefully I can put body Kunaja to a sleep. Okay put no one to sleep oh but i did get a shadow bind on him so that's actually works out well so going to use uh stimmy on my battle master and then here what i'll do is um actually in my previous battle i actually did had some success using henitos uh with boss troll so i'm going to actually do that so that I actually went in so here with body kanaja i'm going to use rukani so that's on two. So again, here we go with my support character. So now here, what I want to do with my ranger, uh, let's see. So actually, all I can do really is going to be actually attacking. So what I'll do here is I'm going to be using a uh, rock cutter. So that's going to be the Jibadia based uh, attack here so that does okay damage not bad then here what i'll do is i will do let's see i will use a uh, battle demon release and hopefully i actually do attack uh body kunaja yes okay good and 12,000 damage so that's actually really good so again going to use henitos which missed, but that's okay. And then I'm going to heal up with my Sage. And nice Echo there. Top everyone off. So Body Kunaja. Regular attack and regular attack. Okay, no problem. Let's see what happens here. Another Shadowbind. Oh, wow, yes, another Shadowbind. 
Okay, so again, going to use a uh, rock cutter and body kanaja. Oh, that missed. Okay, then here again, going to use henitos on boss troll, and that missed again. So here we go with that there. I'm going to heal up. Okay, so here we go with the boss troll. And the boss troll is now uh, shadow bound again. So uh, here, rock cutter. Then, uh, so body kanaja is actually under 50% health. Again, want to try to see if put this on. Again, missed. So what I might do is actually not waste my time uh, with that again, and actually just go ahead with um, uh, dealing damage, especially to body kanaja. So here, going to actually attack. I'm uh, not attack, but heal up with my characters. So body kanaja is going to go now. So regular attack and Earth Rumble. Okay, so now he's going to actually use um, Gather Strength. So next turn, his uh, damage is going to be doubled. So here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use Sleep Strike. So hopefully, either put him to sleep or Shadow by him. So nothing there. So what I'm going to do here is I will actually, hmm. So in this case, what I'll do is, again, I'm going to try to use Hinnitos. Which did not, again, not go through. Heal up here, so let's see damage going here. Okay, ooh, this, this could be bad. Let's see what happens here. Yeah. So that took out my Sage. And a regular attack there. My uh, support character is gone. But um, here, um, Baru Kanaja is under 25% health. So here what I'm going to do is I'm going to use Sleep Strike again. Hopefully, I can either get um, Sleep or Shadow Binds. Nothing there. So here what I'm going to do is with my... I'm going to revive my Sage. And then my Battle Master is going to attack. So only doing half the damage this time. And then I'm going to heal, heal up with my Sage. Let's see. Okay, attack from uh, Boss Troll. Nice guard from my Battle Master. Regular attack there. Earth Rumble, missed my battle on my Ranger, and then again going with uh, Gather Strength, so I really want to uh, either get a Shadow Mine or get a uh, Sleep, nothing there, so, um, okay, let's see, so I'm going to have to use uh, Battle Demon Release again, so pretty much I will be attacking uh, Badu Kunaja. And then here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a uh, Rock Wedge and Body Kanaja there, and I'm going to heal up with my Sage. Okay, I did not mean for that to happen, but um, hopefully here I can actually take out Body Kanaja, which I do, but now I have to deal with the boss troll, which, yep, got down my, uh, ooh, wow, okay, so, um, like that, what I'll do is I'm going to resurrect my Battle Master, so hopefully my Battle Master goes next, yes, then next going to resurrect my Sage, and going to heal up with my Sage. 
see what happens here. So here what I want to do is, uh, so actually I'm going to use a full golden leaf, resurrect my ranger, and then heal up with my sage. And then with my ranger, resurrect my armamentalist, resurrect my battlemaster, and then heal up with my sage. So that actually should be work out well. So now here, boss troll should go down uh, pretty easily. Um, so pretty much just here, just going in and attacking. So here using a uh, boggy space spell rather than the Jabadia one. But uh, here, uh, let's see. Again, Battle Demon release. Okay, that was a good echo right there. Okay, he's doing Weapon Lick, so he's going to start recovering some... Some HP. So next... Final master. Then here, I'm going to try to use Rock Wedge. Heal up my Armamentalist. So here, what I'm going to do is actually, since uh, my Battlemaster is the one doing most of the damage, I want to actually give him some uh, more MP. So right there. So hopefully with this here, uh, he goes down. Yes. Alright, that was that battle. Okay, so uh, that battle went, uh, it was going actually quite well all the way up until uh, I had one round where pretty much um, uh, for some reason I was not able to get Henitos uh, on the second time on the, on the boss troll and uh, I ended up losing the effect which actually did cause some big problems for my, my team. Then uh, pretty much Badu Kanaja ended up taking out two of my characters characters um so um but besides up until then everything was actually going pretty smooth um but uh yeah uh the jabadia team uh did work out quite well especially uh my battle master was doing uh pretty much most of the damage so doing uh like around 12,000 13,000 damage right in the beginning so that was able to whittle him down um pretty much um since i was concentrating on using henitos on the the boss troll um that actually limited um the amount of damage that i was doing so if i actually was doing more uh focused on damaging uh, body kanaja he would have gone down earlier but also uh i wasn't able to use uh sleep uh strike effectively um i wasn't able to get uh shadow binds uh, later on in the battle and nor was i able to put the enemies to sleep but um yeah that's an uh, just a chance is not guaranteed, but uh, with that said, what I want to do now is actually look at the actual soul for uh, Body Kanaja. So that's going to be, let's see, change this around a little bit. And right here. So this is going to be the Body Kanaja soul. So, um,. Uh, so it's going to be a red soul cost 120 so again for the red souls uh, the biggest uh, stat is going to be in strength so you can see I have 110 strength right there uh, not a whole lot in terms of uh, max HP just plus 81 
but if you're looking at the ability stats, it's actually not so much. So it's going to actually be 3% uh, to weapon skill damage, plus 10% uh, damage to dragons, plus 5% uh, paralysis resistance. So it's not a huge pump, hugely great soul, um, unless you're going to be fighting a dragon. But uh, this is going to be a good soul to actually have on for that particular reason. So I uh, could possibly use it against uh, King Hidara, but uh, I think I have better souls uh, besides this one. But I will lock this in. Okay, so with that said, um, this is going to be it for this video, and uh, probably that's going to be it for uh, any of the body kananja uh, videos that I do so thank you for watching if you enjoyed the video please leave a like if you'd like to see more please subscribe and I'll see you in the next video